Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in this super quick video I'm going to show you how you can easily use Adobe XD to create a menu icon that looks like this so when you hover you have this nice background shadow and then once the user clicks on the icon it goes from lines to X and then when they click back it turns back into this hamburger menu once again. So start the timer and here we go. Okay, so to get started, I have an artboard of 800 by 800. You can obviously use any size. I'm going to use my rectangle tool, draw a nice big rectangle, use the size of 300 by 300. I already have this color prepared. I'm going to click on it. It's D9 D080, but you can use obviously any color that you want. For the corner ears, let's use something like a 50 and it looks quite nice. I'm going to position it dead in the center and I'm going to hover right here on the top and use this guide to place it in the center and use another one to place it in the center like this. For this shape itself, let's go to the uh, menu right here with the layers, call it PG. Click right here to uh, include the shadow and let's see, maybe 20, 20 and let's say 50 to include this nice and big shadow. Now for our lines, I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to click right here, click, hold my shift key, click in the center, that's why we use these guides, and click once again. Now, if this doesn't turn out the way you want to, you can always go back using Control command z click somewhere around here, I think that's fine, hit escape, and that's basically it. You can also count, so you can, for example, use another rectangle, draw it up to here, use your move tool, and position it to here, then simply zoom in a little bit, double click inside, and reposition this to be right here and then you're going to make sure that you have this perfect line. Now for the line itself, let's give it a name, I'm, I'm going to call it 2 for example. And for this line I'm going to use the white color, so you can simply click somewhere outside or you can simply go right here and use all Fs. For the size let's go with 20 and for this I'm going to use round cap because I want to make it round at the ends. Hit Ctrl D to make a duplicate position it right here, hit shift 1, 2 to move it up and then I'm going to use uh, this to be number 1, so simply double click right here. If you cannot click, right click and find a rename right here, here it is, type in 1 and I'm going to use uh, another one, so hit Control D, use this one, position it somewhere around here, make sure it's aligned like so, shift 1, 2 to position it down, right click, rename, this is going to be number 3. And that's basically it for our setup. I'm now going to group all of these, hit Control G. I'm going to call it menu icon or ICN, let's say, for short. And I'm going to jump inside, hide my shadow like so. Hit Control or Command K to turn it into a component. Now I'm going to add a hover state. I'm going to call it hover like this. Inside of the hover state, I'm going to select my BG and simply include the shadow back on. And I'm going to create another state, which is going to be called, let's say, tap or click state, however you want to call it. And for this state, what we are going to do actually is jump inside. And for this number two, let's say I'm going to double click on it. Click on this one and position it to be in the center like this. Click on this one. Position it to be in the center like this and you can see XD has these glitches once you zoom in and out But these um, corners are there. I'm going to double click on this one and click right here Bring this into the center like this and then click on this one click on this one Hold my shift key and use it two times for example to position it 20 pixels up Do the same for this one so double click click right here position it in the center and make sure if you uh, can see these spikes like this one to position it one or two down just so that you cannot see these spikes anymore. Select this one, this one with your shift, one, two, position it down. If you like the shape of your X, leave it like that. If not, maybe you can reorganize things just a little bit. And that's basically it. To see it a little bit better, I'm going to remove these guys, but you can obviously leave them there in place. And you can now see how this icon looks like. Let's jump into the prototyping stage. And for this, I'm going to select my default state. 
and for the default state hover is already presented that's basically it what you need to do is click right here so in the hover state I'm going to click somewhere so for example I'm going to click right here select my BG or even better maybe we can select this number two click and then you can use tap auto animate let's choose this uh, state so let's use tap uh, is in and out 0.4 seconds and that's basically it it's going to take us to the tap state and inside of the tap state what we can do is simply select our bg or any of our layers let's see maybe we can use our bg click and we're going to use tap auto animate so basically the same settings but go back to the hover state so not default state but hover state and let's see how that turns out so go to the default state click preview hover we have this nice little hover once we click on this middle line we have this nice animation once we click right here it takes us back to the hamburger menu so that's your tutorial for today i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope that you like this short and sweet tutorials if you like me to make more of these let me know because i have a bunch of ideas that i can show you guys how you can use adobe xd and all of these sweet animations to include some more spice into your ui designs Thank you very much for watching, make sure to subscribe, I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.